But when we say that there are reports, there are allegations that the people that are purchasing, the wholesalers, purchase from BSI, and because they make more money taking it across the border, that is what they are doing. That is a fact. That is a fact. Now, there are allegations that when the BDF, it was the BDF, I believe, that my colleague in the House mentioned. I don't believe he mentioned the police department. Um, but let's say it was the police department, the BDF. We are talking about ministerial intervention, ministerial abuse. These are things that are being reported to us from the security forces. They are telling us that, yeah, leader, you know, we, we try, but we hold people, and then they let them go. So at the end of the day, it is another example of the tone deaf, disconnected state of the Briseño regime. And while the commissioner of police should be a autonomous body, even though he's appointed by the prime minister, he's a part of the Briseño regime. He might as well be CEO in the officer, the office of the prime minister for security, um, because he is all in on the Briseño regime. You look at his, and and you know I haven't had time, but. I, the more he opens his mouth, I feel I, I am obligated to report him to the um, Public Service Commission and the Bureau of Standards. His behavior is unethical and the hubris with which he presents himself that he could say what he wants and he could do what he wants and he could mix politics with his office is lawless. And imagine the top lawman is lawless. But this is the state of Belize, and this is why we have a sugar shortage.